good luck. You'll need it. Because we're going to play Super Smash TV. Uh, another game really popular in the arcade, my local arcade, and uh, where I grew up. Time Out was what it was called, and it had Smash TV, and I played a lot of it. I don't think I ever beat it. I don't even ever think I got to Mutoid Man, but I did love playing it, so I thought I'd play it in my little series here. And uh, I don't know what order I'm going to post these in, so I don't know when you'll see this one as opposed to the other ones, but I'm going to try to sort of, you know, stagger some of them so that, like, they can be... Uh, some Nintendo, some Super Nintendo, you know, whatever. And again, this is a Super Nintendo version. I think I've already stated I, I don't have really any way to do the original arcade ones. And uh, I'm not going to look. So you can comment. You can even link stuff to me. And I'm just going to ignore it because I don't care. Because <laughs> I'm that kind of guy. Um, I think... Uh, this actually came out with a sequel called Total Carnage. One of the rooms is called Total Carnage, and I, it came out with a sequel. And it was alright. Um, I think I think this one's the best. And it definitely works on the Super Nintendo. There actually was a port of Smash TV for the um, regular Nintendo, and you actually had to take... It, one player had to use both controllers uh, because of the... Um, because of this particular control st scheme, scheme, uh, it couldn't handle. You know, you had to use the D-pads on both controllers, which was super awkward. I did. I rented that port once. Oh, did I die? Poo. Uh, I rented that port once, and it was it. You know, in addition to it being just, you know, weird because it's you know Smash TV and it's hard to. Uh, fit all I'm sure it's hard for the Nintendo to fit all of those characters on the screen because this is definitely a very sprite intensive uh, game this is not for the not for a, a you know not as good console actually not 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 as good but not technologically uh, as ad advanced I guess is what I'm saying I don't know what I'm saying y'all <laughs> I'm sorry I don't know what's going on oh crap I don't know what those are Hit by the balls. Not in the balls. By the balls. And yay for options. Um, not a lot of, like, arena shooters like this. This wasn't, like, a game that really, like, set off a chain of games just like this. Which, that's fine. Sometimes it's good to just be one of a kind. Sometimes it's good to just have one of a thing of a game, of a movie, of whatever, sometimes it's okay for it to just that be the only one. It doesn't need to be a series or sequels or anything like that. It can just be the one that it is. Three guys, I thought I, I didn't think I died that much. Oh well. I figured this one was going to be a little bit shorter because, oh crap. Because uh, this game's hard. This is definitely a quarter muncher. If there is a definition of, of a quarter muncher, uh, it would be this right here. This would be the, the game that you would go, yep, quarter muncher. This, this is what, you need an example of what that is. It's this right here. Uh, where everything is stacked against you to the point of being just almost just unfair. I mean, the arcade games are generally unfair by their nature. Just because, you know, they're trying to bring in quarters. They're not trying to provide... They're trying to provide just enough ex a fun experience for you to keep putting quarters in, is what they're trying to do. Um, which sometimes doesn't necessarily make for uh, an excellent, wonderful game. It just makes for, a, makes for a tough time. And Smash TV, but I think it's fun. I still think that even though the difficulty is brutally unfair, I still very much enjoy it. And I still think it's a fun game. I do think that it should have unlimited continues for it being a console port, but uh, I think I covered that last time in another video, or I have said it before. Because theoretically, as uh, the one YouTuber, uh, his name's Count Zero, as he has observed in his Nintendo Power retrospectives, which is a cool series you should check out, um, if I was in an arcade, I could just play and play and play and play. Uh, so I, if I bought the game for like $60, then why should I have a credit limit? 
you know what I mean? Makes sense, and I agree with him. You should also check out his channel. It's His name is Al Alexander Case is his YouTube channel name. Maybe I'll put a link in the description if I uh, remember to do that, which I probably won't. But you should check it out. You should check it out and uh, watch the Nintendo Power Retrospectives. I really enjoyed that series that he did, um, and he's still doing it. I think he's going to do all of them. But anyway, that was one credit. <laughs> Got about as far as I thought I was going to get. And I will see you all next time, and we'll do another Arcade Classic.